Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be Hasu League from BSL Season 11. This is the round of eight, game two between Sone and Style. Style taking game one because he was able to just hold out against the onslaught of Sone. Sone starting the right hand corner as the yellow Terran this time, upper left hand corner. We have Style as the pink Protoss. Love the alliteration. And this is going to be on Polypoid. And I want to direct your attention to the bottom right-hand corner. I have been negligent, mostly because of my own... One, because of lack of technical... It's not... I'm actually... I work in a tech field. It's just having the bandwidth to sit down and do it. Because I don't know why it just feels taxing to do these sort of things. I'm like, really? This isn't actually commentating. Whatever. Anyway, so now we have the Bombastic Star League logo up. The Esports Fund logo up. Uh, Russ, uh, Russ Brain out in Russia is basically funding just a massive amount of projects. They have an incredible staff as well, and they're really keeping Foreign Brood War alive across the board. And so, yeah, check out, B and also I've been negligent, to, I've updated all the descriptions, but it should have all the BSL info. I think most of that is tagging towards BSL Season 12, which is being casted live now by Nyokin and Gypsy, so check that out live on their site. Part of the, re the major reason I'm doing all this is to highlight Foreigner Brood War, and I feel like I've been negligent in not pointing out BSL, because that's Foreigner Brood War right now. That is the biggest, most, aside from the Russian cyber games, which is kind of like an extension of the old cyber games. That's, anyway, you get what I'm saying. I keep saying that recently. Anyway, gateway opener with a assimilator to follow, which suggests we're going to go more Dragoon heavy to start rather than Zealot heavy to start. We also see a refinery being taken by Sone, which suggests he's going to opt for more factory builds. And we have the barracks configuration. This is kind of an interesting configuration. I have not seen very often, which the supply depot along the corner with the barracks right alongside. So rather than having kind of the quick gap to run between, um, a little bit more open. The probe sneaking in is not going to have an opportunity for a gas steal, but luckily it is going to be able to get into this space. This is a four player map, so getting the scout right off the bat. And it should be able to see, it looks like two SCVs going into gas, which suggests a factory into expand opener, kind of halfway in between. SCV trying to linebacker that probe away. That on the opposite side, Sone is going to go ahead and get the scout before anything is sneaking into this space. Cybernetic score, the Zealot has been skipped, which suggests a more tech or Nexus heavy opener. And another Supply Depot kind of along that corner. I'm almost curious how this uh, works for... Anyway, he's not going to pay for it either way because we're not going to see a Zealot to start off. Sone going ahead and plopping down that first factory. Is he going to pull? It looks like he's already pulled one of those SCVs off gas. So making sure he gets that factory down. This definitely is all indicators of a command center first build. Probe still sitting in the base, getting a good look. Looks like it's not going to have an opportunity to really poke at that SCV, but it's going to back off. First Dragoon being produced. It looks like Sone going to not hang out, but he's going to go ahead and move this SCV probably towards that 9 o'clock position. One, so we can see if there's any quick three expansion thing down the line. Ooh, three more SCV and gas. So it is possible we'll see a second factory. And that was right in front of Style's face, so Style might have an indication of it. But anyway, SCV's gonna sit in the corner, maybe able to sneak by and get some additional scouting information if a Dragoon decides to push out. Range about halfway finished, second gateway up. And it looks like just two, two Marines and an SCV blocking the front door. This is gonna be uh, interesting, because these Dragoons will be able to get here there's no bunker. There's no... And, oh, so command center. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to see an inside command center build uh, to follow. But no bunker um, at the natural. So going to try to play it safer here. Going to rely on the misfire chance. And actually, is he just going to plant that bunker or that barracks over the marines so they can't target fire? That would be kind of interesting. Nope, he's going to go ahead and float it all the way down and plant it. So this uh, barracks is going to be a little bit of forward spotting down the ramp. Just in case those dragoons decided to get frisky and run forward. Robotics facility being planted down the opposite side, and here's the first tank being built. Usually, so that tank would have been popping if he just pushed those Dragoons. This tank would have been popping out right about as they were landing there. Might have been a little bit close. Now he's doing it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. I love it when I say, when I'm like, could he do this? And then he does it. Sneaky Marines under there in an SCV. That makes it a little bit more frustrating because with the Dragoons, you can't just sit there and target fire. SCV trying to sneak back across. It looks like he is going to see this pylon on the front, which suggests which throws suggestions out towards Nexus first, but it's not an absolute lock robotics facility. Uh, we'll have to see what happens after the robo. If he, in fact, goes for a support bay and goes for the Reaver tech and is just kind of faking this, or if he is, in fact, going for the expansion, we'll see most likely an observatory. Engineering bay being planted down. So Sohm thinking, you know what? I'm expecting you to go for the Reaver opener. He's now going to float that command center down. So a little bit slower than it might have been otherwise, but a little bit 
uh, more safe overall. Pylon being blockaded. Wow, interesting. Pylon at the 12 o'clock location to kind of stake claim there and provide additional spotting information. And the Dragoons are going to go ahead and hold position for the time being. We do see an observatory, which definitely suggests that Style is opting for... And let's see if he cuts back on the Dragoon production momentarily, that he's... Looks like he's opting for an expansion himself. He might go ahead and go for a quick third. Sone is going to be a little bit slower. So this is going to... Ooh, probe getting splatted there. This is going to slow his economy down just a tad where he's... Because you don't need the engineering bay really for anything but turrets. But this is going to prevent that Dark Templar potential. That's also going to provide a little bit... It's not going to be great. This positioning is not great against shuttles. But for any sort of forward door breach or any sort of attack on the front, if a shuttle wanders into range, you can provide a little bit of protection there. Two siege tanks now. Armory in that back corner, and I think what Sone is starting to gather up for in another, just in case there is a DT drop um, out in the main. Unfortunately, yeah, just the Observer tech and the Nexus. The question for Style, is the Style going to push tech, or is he going to die? I answer my own question. He's going for that quick three. Going for th quick three bases, and he's going to try to push that economy, and I think this is going to be great for him, actually. Because what Sone is doing is it looks like he is angling up to go for kind of the classic... 12 minute ish, 12 to 14 minute push from Terran, where you just build a bunch of mech units, you get your weapons won, you're, you basically you push your upgrades, you hit a certain upgrade timing, and you move out and just try to splat your enemy and proceed the game from there. And it puts Protoss in a difficult situation where you are kind of in between, where it's like, okay, do I slow my opponent down? What do I do here? But really, the thing you want to do, I think, to counter that is go ahead and keep your macro up and build a lot of units and get your tech up. And more or less be in a position to confront that and splat it as it comes out. Observer is gonna go ahead and come in and see that. I think he's gonna, this will be the big indicator here, seeing these early machine shops, getting a, ooh, he's gonna lose it. He does lose the Observer, but I think he got the information he wanted to. Academy, and actually also should point this out, uh, Sone was skimping on the Academy by going for the turrets. But the other thing that has done is that put him a bit in the dark as far as generalized information, because he's gone for more siege tanks to start, he hasn't had vultures out in the field. So from his point of view, he sees very, very little. He doesn't know about that third nexus. He doesn't really have any idea of Sone's tech outside the fact that he had an observer at some point. So he knows he has a robo. And he might have a general idea of like, okay, he probably won expansion, but he doesn't have basically anything else to work with. Citadel of a Dune plopping in the corner. There's also a probe that looks like it's just setting up to kind of hide here and take that expansion when it wants to. A lot of siege tanks out. So, so this would be, if, if there was a any sort of push into this, those siege tanks would have been able to repel it. But now, yeah, you can see those additional factories being plopped down, moving up to six factories. This is to provide that support with the vultures. And that weapons one is about halfway done. So yeah, this is about the, if I recall, some, and we'll see how, how, I think perfectly, and don't quote me on this because I am not a skilled Terran player, but I think perfectly you basically execute it at like 12 minutes, uh, 12 minute 15, somewhere around there. And so look somewhere in between that 12 to 14 minute mark for Sone basically to unsiege, move out with absolutely everything and try to go for a big push to either establish map control, just kill Sone or take uh, map control and get additional expansions up. We see additional gateways being plopped down, a lot of gateways. So now we're seeing Gateway Man, which has been very, very popular recently. Honestly, I like seeing a little bit more High Templar in all of this. And you see all those siege tanks regrouping. Now we're going to see just a big pump of vultures, probably, to follow that up as Weapon of one finishes. And actually, I take it back. So this is... See, my timing's off. It looks like this might be a, just a Weapons 1 attack. So I think the, long, the later one is Weapons... Level Weapons 2, Armor 1. But I think there is another timing here that I'm, <laughs> that I'm learning about as we talk. Looks like around the 9-minute mark, where he just has an immense amount of siege tanks. It's also possible that Sone's just kind of gathering up to maybe take his third... Style is right there on top of it, waiting. And he sees all of these siege tanks and everything coming. I don't think he can engage this with this few... As I say that, he goes and gets a couple shots off. He's behind in the upgrades, so level 1 weapons. A good scan. He's good. I think he's just going to lose some Dragoons for free if he just doesn't back off. And here's the problem for Protoss right now, is imagine that Stone was just moving out with this entire army. I don't know that Style has enough to fight this, right? Um... He does have all those gateways up. It was going to take him a minute to do to get that up. But I think fortunately for him, Sone isn't interested in going for any sort of... It's possible he's just slow pushing to go for a kill. But I think what he's doing is he's actually going for maybe... Well, actually, I take it back. No, he's going for the kill. He's moving forward. He is pressing this. I thought he was actually just going to establish his third base. But no, he is. he's getting aggressive and slow pushing. And 
Now we'll see if Style can go ahead and get his own unit count up. He does have the gateways to produce it, but usually when you're engaging this, you want a shuttle, you want some high Templar, you want some dark Templar, you want an Arbiter, you want something out here. He's on pure gateway units, and it's going to be a bit before the rest of that pushes in. It's going to come down to, can he sweep around, get some sort of pincer or something like that? Clear everything out. Zone diving into this, proceeding forward. More reinforcements coming across. I think Style has the economy to push this back. It's going to come down to this engagement right here. This is really where he needs to strike. Before he ends up in this funnel where his units just can't engage. He's peeling some units down to the south so he can have kind of an opportunity to do double pincer attack. The siege tanks are hitting that pylon. Some vultures moving down. They're getting swept out a little bit. So an is... Oh, I was thinking that was a command center. He's not. He's just going for it. Going for those two factory push. Zealots moving in. Looks like they're able to get close to the siege tanks. On top of the siege tanks now, the Dragoons doing some damage. Looks like they're able to clear out a good amount of siege tanks, but all of those Zealots are gone. And Style's going to have to back up once again, and he only has a skeleton crew here to provide any support. That That's five siege tanks left. Still plenty of vultures. And you can see how difficult this, uh, this sort of timing is to push back. For Protoss, and that's why it's been so popular with Terran recently. Zealots getting on top. Wow, the reinforcing Zealots getting on top as Style goes to the north, and that actually might get cleaned up. There's still more units to the north, and wow, just one missed maneuver by Sohn. And he loses a lot of units as a result of it. Good on Style to really capitalize and just hop on this. I don't know that this is over yet, but he was able to clear out a significant amount of units, but his units are completely wiped out. I thought, wow. He's going to be able to micro the rest of that, perhaps in another micro unit. Now he's in a lot of trouble. This is the point where, yeah, this is doomsday oftentimes for Protoss because your natural expansion is getting taken. You're in your own funnel. Four seat, five siege tanks down versus five dragoons is not the numbers you want, but three of those siege tanks getting taken out. Sohn once again going for that push. And yeah, he's got that turret in the background just in case there were going to be... Uh, something else. This Vulture already has seven kills. Style basically has to sack that base. That's also going to hurt continuous unit production. He's going to have to rely on his bank, and I think this is going to be it. I think Stone's done it. Managed to get into that natural. Mines on top of everything. Those probes. Yeah, now that natural's breach. We're probably going to see GG here in not too long. Nicely executed this time by Stone. And now, I have learned something. For the weapons 1 attack, the timing is around 9 minutes versus the 2-1 attack, which is, I don't know, 12-40. Terran, if you're a good Terran, comment up for me. Dark Templar trying to move its way out. It wants to get a Miracle Mind Drag here, but does manage to get a Vulture, does manage to get the SCV, but the Siege Tanks still stand. This is plenty of Siege Tanks, honestly. Vultures can continue to just wander into this style, defiantly trying to stay in this, but I don't think he has the raw production to breach this anymore. His Natural is gone. His... Okay, he's trying to sneak a 9 o'clock base. That is going to come up way too late for him. He just doesn't have the units to get out of this anymore from my perspective. He's trying to like build a little bit to get some sort of breach. Maybe if Son just completely forgot how to do everything, that would be it. But he's gonna he's gone ahead and established his third. He just can all he has to do is reinforce this a little bit, continuous vultures, continue siege tanks, and there's just not a lot that style can do, because he is mining on one very thin base. One very thin base. And on one base you can support sometimes Four gateways. The Zealot's running in. There's already a supply depot and a turret in the way. Maybe they'll get a siege tank out of this. Tanks unseaging. Vultures are still there. Five siege tanks still standing. More reinforcements sweeping in. There's still four siege tanks up. The Dragoons moving across. They are boxed in by those vultures and just splat. Didn't... Yeah, there's GG from style. Well executed by Sohn. <laughs> I'll get better about the timings in the future, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. For the Terran players out there, that is textbook execution from a Terran player as far as the time. So go ahead and I'm not going to say like plagiarize exactly, but yeah, plagiarize this build. Go out, ask someone, hey, what's that? Because this is, this is a classic one. Well executed by him. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to go ahead and move on. So each player has one game apiece. We'll move on to game three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.